Conrad Steiner. I'm a doctor of medicine. Tonight's story has the title, Never Come Sunday. Guardian of birth, healer of the sick, comforter of the aged. To the profession of medicine, to the men and women who labor in its cause, this story is dedicated. presentation tonight, the field of mental retardation. The object in point, a child's nursery rhyme. The case in point, Laurie Kathleen Ramsey. She's 11 years old. She has two brothers, ages 8 and 13. Her father's a successful concert pianist. Her mother was a prominent literary agent before she was married. Six years ago, the Ramseys were considered an ideal family. Happy, contented, devoted to one another. Then one day, Laurie fell from a swing in the backyard of their home. From that day on, the members of her family have stood on the edge of disaster and despair. Sunday's the day Me and my true love Gaily pursue love Sunday's the day Mama, the same words as my poem. Daddy wrote it just for me. Isn't it pretty? Very pretty, sweetheart. Pretty? We have the ballad of the century. Isn't that right, Miss Ramsey? That sounds funny. Who's Miss Ramsey? Who's Miss Ramsey? You, little girl. It's time you're back in bed. You've got a lot to do tomorrow. Come on. Get upstairs. Daddy, can't we sing it again? It's my poem. We'll sing it all together. Fine, but not right now. All right, Daddy? Better run along, Ladybird. Fly away home. I'll run up to bed now. Well, how about you flying up to bed, too, Mr. Ramsey? What's with Jeff and Danny? They get home at a decent hour? About 10.30. I wish they'd stop running around so much. Stay away. Why don't they spend more time at home? I don't know. Why don't you? How'd the concert go? Have a good audience? Very large. They love me. Pelted you with roses, did they? Thought they'd never let me go. At least four standing ovations. Seemed to go on for hours. Apparently it went on for hours. Well, we stopped by Victor's for something to eat. and I started playing the piano. And all of a sudden I got the idea for this tune. What about Lori? You're taking her downtown again tomorrow? Mm-hmm. 11.30 this morning. Board of Education. I don't want any more of that, Stell. I've, I've told you a dozen times. I know you have. You never learn, do you? Well, it's different this time. They've got some new tests. I'm sure she'll make it this time. 
anyway, she's improved a lot. I can see it, can't you? When will it come? Never come Sunday. Now, that was six years ago, wasn't it? The last thing she ever learned. Now, when are you going to face it, Stella? I love Laurie as much as you do, but she just hasn't got it. She'll never have it. The sooner you accept that, the better it's going to be for all of us. I'll never accept it. Laurie's normal. I don't care what anyone says. Still playing games, Stella. Laurie's not normal. She'll never be normal. The mind of a five-year-old, and she isn't going to get any better. Why try to force her to be something she'll never be? Let the poor kid alone. I will not leave her alone. She's my daughter. She's as normal as any of the rest of the kids, and I'm going to prove it to you and everyone else. Do you understand? Sure, Stell. You'll prove it. You'll ruin your life and the life of everyone around you, but you'll prove it. You bet I will. Without your help. Not that I've ever had it. Nobody's as close to Lori as I am. No one knows her like I do. Not you or the doctor or anyone else. She's going to get over this thing, no matter what it takes. For the last time, Stell, don't do it. You'll only make her worse and kill yourself in the bargain. Lori's place is right here with us in this house. Not out there. There's no place for her out there. They don't understand. She'll get hurt out there. You've got to keep her here with us. Watch her. Keep her close. Protect her. Like a freak? Is that what you mean? Something we have to hide? Cover up? Something to be ashamed of? I could never be ashamed of Laurie. But I'm beginning to be a little bit ashamed of you. with you, Jeff. Not now, Lori. Maybe a little later. Come on, let's go up to my room. You take the records, Danny. Jeff, can't I play records, too? Why can't I play records, too? Not now, honey. Come on, let's go. Jeff, I want to play records. Why can't I play records, too? Mom, what happened? Nothing. Didn't she get by? Jeff, would you get the phone book and look up Dr. Steiner's number? Yeah. All right, Mom. is my point. My daddy made up music to go with it. I said my point for you the last time I was here, didn't I? Laura, you have a wonderful memory. And I said it once for you when you came to our house, didn't I? Right again. Now, would you like to go out in the other room with Miss Anderson? I think she has a surprise for you. A surprise? What is it, Miss Anderson? Miss Anderson, what is it? Doctor, what do you think? Her physical condition is good. Very good. Heart and lungs are fine. She's putting on a little more weight. I don't mean that. I mean her mental condition. It is improving, isn't it? I don't mean to be pessimistic, Mrs. Ramsey. As far as I can see, there's been no change. Laurie's basic mental problem is the same as it was the last time I examined her. 
Well, I can't believe it. I don't think she's the same. I think she's changed. Mrs. Ramsey, as you know, I'm not an expert in this particular field. I can call Dr. Ames and make another appointment for you, if you like. I forgot to mention that we went back to see Dr. Ames last month. He said the same thing. Mrs. Ramsey, in all good conscience, I have to tell you again, we've done everything possible to obtain an honest, accurate diagnosis of Laurie's condition. When she fell from that swing and struck her head on the pavement, she suffered injuries to certain vital centers in the brain. Remember, that was six years ago. Since that time, as you know, we've run numerous studies on Lori. X-rays, angiograms, electroencephalograms, neurological studies. They indicated permanent brain damage. Nothing can be done for her. Put her away, is that what you're trying to say? All I'm trying to say is accept your child as she is. Not as you'd like her to be. Lori can be helped. There's quite a bit can be done for her. Mrs. Ramsey, I wish you'd reconsider the idea I first suggested a few years ago. I mean, special schooling for Lori, special training. You mean the school out at Long Ridge? You want me to send her out there? All those children. Palsy, mongoloids. She isn't in the same class with them. Her case is altogether different. She's exceptional. That's exactly what they call it now, Mrs. Ramsey. The Long Ridge Community School for Exceptional Children. Can't class her with those poor children. She's nothing like them. Face it, Mrs. Ramsey. She is. And you know it as well as I do. Don't fight the impossible. Your little girl is mentally retarded. I don't believe you. Lori's mind's going to be normal. She's going to be all right. Please, Mrs. Ramsey, accept it. Try to understand. She's my baby. I'll find a doctor somewhere. I'll get help from somebody. Lori's going to be all right. She's going to be all right. going on another trip? Seems I never see you anymore, Ladybird. We're going in an airplane again, me and Mama. We're gonna fly. Already, Laura? Already, Mama. Kiss goodbye, baby. Goodbye, Daddy. Goodbye. Come on, Mom. It's time to go. Time to go. You go out on the porch and wait for the taxi, will you? Should be here in a minute. You tell me when it comes. Hmm? All right, Mama. I'll watch. I'll tell you when it comes. I'll tell you when the taxi comes. How long is it going to be this time? It all depends on Dr. Belmont, whatever he says. I hate to be realistic, Stell, but have you taken a good look at our bank balance lately? I don't like it any more than you do. I know how much we've spent. This time I'm sure about it. Dr. Belmont's the man to treat Laurie. I can tell from his letters. I'm positive he can cure her. Sure, Stell. He'll cure Laurie. Old Belmont, doctor of nature, 
the miracle medical man. He'll cure Lori. Have a nice trip. Yes, Mrs. Ramsey, it's my honest opinion that your child qualifies for our electrocerebral therapy course of treatments. My, uh... Only regret is that you didn't see fit to consult me sooner than you did. That won't hurt Lori's chances, will it? You can still do something for her. Fortunately, yes. As a doctor of nature, I'm convinced we can cure her completely. It may take a few weeks more than is usually found necessary in cases of this type. Is that agreeable with you, Mrs. Ramsey? Of course, doctor. Could you tell me how much the fee will amount to? Well, Mrs. Ramsey, let me assure you the charge will be both reasonable and just for the service rendered. My fee shouldn't run to more than two thousand, possibly twenty-five hundred dollars. Don't you consider that fair, Mrs. Ramsey? Well, yes, I suppose it is. All right, Doctor. Anything. As long as it helps Laurie. Days, Mrs. Ramsey. Yes, Laurie's certainly shown a great deal of improvement since we started treatments. I don't think she'll encounter any trouble from here on in. She's responded admirably. It's wonderful, Doctor. Just wonderful. I knew she was improving all along. Mama! Oh, baby. Missed you so much. You had fun? How are you? Just fine, Mama. Just fine. I'm fine. Now, how about our surprise for Mother, Lori? Surprise? Yes, our special surprise. All the new things you've learned. You remember. Now tell your mother. Yes. I remember. Well, Lori? I remember. When will it come? Never come Sunday. Never come Sunday. When will it come? Twiddle my thumb. It's only man. They never come sun, they when will it come? And that's just about it, Doctor. We finally reached the end of the line. We've got to make a decision, so we ask you to come by tonight. Well, I appreciate your confidence, Mr. Ramsey, but I can only offer my advice. The final decision is up to you. Six years. All went for nothing. Didn't mean a thing. Oh, no. Come on, honey. Doctor, what's your idea about this school out at Long Ridge? You think that might be the answer? Well, it's hard to say, Mr. Ramsey. It's one solution, and I think it's a good one. But there's one thing you have to understand. In a case such as this, there's no simple overall formula that we can apply to every child or every family. Each case is strictly individual. Well, what's the best thing for Laurie now? Well, first of all, accept her as she is and not as you'd like her to be. Accept her fully, completely. Don't smother her with protection so that she can't achieve what she's capable of achieving. 
Don't close her in the back room. And don't ever be ashamed of her. Understand? I guess I went to one extreme and Stella went to the other. Laurie was lost somewhere in between. What's your opinion, Doctor? What would you advise? Well, taking everything into account, I think the Longridge School would do a lot of good for Laurie. Besides the specialized training and the therapy, I think she'd get something that she needs desperately. Companionship. Other children to play with. Children like her. Children she can be happy with. Dr. Stein. Do you think we should send her there to live? In Laurie's case, yes. I'd recommend it for a while at least. Well, could we drive out to the school and have a look around? I'll call and make the arrangements any time you say. I'd better be going now. You two talk it over and let me know. Whatever you decide. All right, Doctor, we will. I'll walk to the door with you. It's all right, I know the way. Good night. Would you like to drive out to the school tomorrow, Stell? Stell, what do you think? Stell. We pretty. Are you ready? I'll be. Goodbye, sweetheart. I'll be out to see you day after tomorrow. You'll like it out there, Daddy. You didn't see the ducks and chickens when you were out there. They've got ducks and chickens, and I know two little girls already. One's Linda, and one's Barbara, and they're going to be my very best friends, aren't they, Mommy? Oh, you'll have lots of friends, baby. I wish you were coming, Daddy. Are you really going to play my song? That's right. Special afternoon concert. You're going to play my song, and I won't be there. I won't hear it. Well, uh, I'll tell you what. We'll have a special private performance just for you, right now. Come on. Madam Ramsey, Miss Ramsey, if you'll be seated, please. All right. The concert begins. Do you think I'm pretty? Do you really think I'm pretty? 